In the previous lesson, we looked at the raw format and converting it into a DNG. Let's not worry about raw anymore for a while. Let's concentrate on Photoshop. We have images that are, say, PSDs and have color problems, and we need to fix them. Let's start by going into our work folder, go to the board file, and go down to Browse and Bridge. Whole bunch of images. Open up these two right here. So shift click to get them both, and double click to open them. Here we've got two images, and they both have the same problem. Now you could have a hundred images that have the same problem. Just depends on how many images, in my opinion, what you're going to do to fix all of them. We got two, we could try this. Let's go to this one right here, and let's fix this one in a very simple way. Six out of ten times this is going to work. In the Layers panel, come down and click the Half Moon icon, and select Levels. The levels Adjustments, let's go ahead and bring it out so you can see it. If you're using an earlier version of CS, you might not actually have the Adjustments panel, but you'll still have the ability to get to the stuff, you'll see it. What we want to do is basically go into Red. All we got to do is visually move that slider until we contact the information right about there. This side we don't have to touch, it's already there. Green, little bit on this side, not a lot, and a big swatch on this side. Every image is like a fingerprint. Each one of these histograms will be a little bit different. And we should be able to finish it off by pulling it in like that. That's not too bad. Say we like that. Let's go ahead and bring this back over and stick it back up here. What do we do now? We have two images. Easiest way to do this, if you are in tab view like I am, you want to go up to the word window on the pull-down menu and go to arrange tile, and it will show you each one of them. This is the good one. This is the bad one. How do we fix it? It's actually pretty easy. Come back into this one, and you can see there's the layer with the adjustment. This would not have worked if we had done the adjustment through image adjustments levels. So I don't like using these anymore because you have more control down here. And all we have to do now, I want you to drag that adjustment onto this image and let go. There you go. Both images fixed. Now there might be slight differences we have to correct. No big deal though. It's a very easy thing to do if you have an image that has an adjustment layer that is controlling the adjustment of one of your images and it works, why not use it again? It makes perfect sense. But what if you have more than two or three images? That's what we're going to talk about in the next lesson.